Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, APW Sports Signing In, and it is time yet again to do the weekly power rankings. We're heading into week five of the NFL season. Through the first four weeks, we can start to tell us what teams are really are, and it's time to get my rankings for each team. But I love with the intro. Without further ado, let's dive into it. Guys, here are my tier rankings list from last week and stop the here screenshot of the weather to compare. But these are what I had each team last week. Let's see if anything changes. Right, we're gonna have the Arizona Cardinals. I'm gonna put them in a D. I'm still gonna keep them in a D, but this team, they are playing a whole lot better football than what I've even expected to. And Josh Dobbs is starting to look like something. This football team was projected coming into the year to possibly have the number one overall pick but they have been playing some really tough really hard football and they sit at one and four now but i mean one and three now excuse me but i like some of the things that they've done with this offense and some of the things on defense they need to correct but they are playing a lot tougher than what i thought so i'm gonna leave them in a d next the atlanta falcons coming off of the loss in london to jacksonville I'm debating between B and C for this football team, but I'm going to put them at a C because offensively, these last two weeks, they just have not been able to get anything going, whether it's using of Kyle Pitts, whether it's the passing game. They have just not been able to find their rhythm offensively, and it has really, really hurt this football team. The first few weeks, you can start to see Desmond Ritter start to progress, but these last two weeks... He has just not been that type of a quarterback that we thought he could have been, so we're going to put them at a C. Next is the Baltimore Ravens. I had them at an A last week. I'm going to leave them at an A. I like what they're doing. Defensively, they've been a lot better. Offensively, Lamar Jackson is starting to get into some rhythm with these first few weeks. Now, they've been without Odell, which is hurt, but offensively, they've been playing a lot better football, and their defense is very, very stout. So I'm going to put them at the A tier. Next is the Buffalo Bills. I mean, the impression showing they had against the Dolphins team that just scored 70 points is, is just downright absolutely impressive. So I am going to have the Bills stay at that S tier. Next is the Carolina Panthers. I mean, a team that, that has talent but is still very young. They haven't found ways to win football games, and they've been in some close ones. They just haven't found a way to win. Bryce Young, I've always said C.J. Stroud had more of the talent, but Bryce Young still is a work in progress. I'm not going to judge him based off four games, or three games, excuse me, because he missed one with the concussion, but he's not there. Uh, uh, next team, I don't even want to talk about them. I'll just leave my reaction in the cards. I mean, I'm so tired of talking about the damn Bears. Let's move on. They they should be in a tier on their own, which next. Next is the Cincinnati Bengals. I had them at an A tier. The way they've been looking, E tier right now. It, it, and it could be easily a C tier. And you know what? I'm going to drop the Bengals to a C tier. I never would have thought I've done it. But this football team is just... You can tell something's wrong with Joe Burrow. I did a video about that. I'll leave that in the cards as well, but... Something's not there with this Bengals team. It's not there with Burrow. And defensively, they just haven't been the same unit. It's out of pass rushing with Henderson. Offensive line still stinks. Offensively, Joe Burrow, he that calf is bothering them more than what they probably are letting on, but it's not there. Next, the Cleveland Browns. I had them in a B. I'm going to keep them at a B. Now, they didn't have Deshaun Watson last week, and that I think that was part of the reason why they lost to the Ravens, but... I like what this Browns team is doing. I like what they can possibly be. Defensively, they've been a very solid defense. It's just offensively, they need to find some rhythm, and I hope Deshaun Watson can come back this week for them. So I'm going to put them in a B. Next is the Dallas Cowboys. I had them in an A. I'm going to move them to an S tier. That defense, even without Trayvon Diggs, is just a very stout defense. Offensively, 
it still means more to be desired from the passing game, especially with Dak. It's just that defense is just so stout. That defense is so good, led by Dan Quinn, Michael Parsons, who can possibly be a defense player to your candidate, Stephon Gilmore. And the way they create turnovers on that defensive side of the ball, they are very stout and very lethal. Next is the Denver Broncos. I'm debating between B. I'm I'm gonna put them at a D because it took a miraculous comeback and some bare stupid decisions for them to win that bang. That defense still sucks. Even though they got out the fields a little bit, but who doesn't with Bears? But I still keep the Broncos at a D. It, it's not like they came out and just outplayed the Bears the whole game. It took some luck. It took some bare stupid mistakes. And it took some plays, yes. But I'm still going to keep this team in a D for the moment. Next is the Detroit Lions. I'm going to have them at an A tier. They look tremendously good against the Green Bay Packers, and I love that. They looked very good against the Green Bay Packers. Jared Goff is playing solid football. Them running the football, Gibbs, David Montgomery, they have been playing some really good football. And defensively, they have been a lot better than what they were last year. And I really like the things that Dan Campbell is doing with this Lions team with Aiden Hutchinson on defense. I really like where this Lions team is headed. And I think they are the best team in the NFC North. And I think that's by far. Next is the Green Bay Packers coming off of that blowout loss. So I had them at A. I'm going to drop them to a B. They, they should have not been run over like that defensively with the defensive front that they had led by a guy like Kenny Clark. They should not have gotten ran off of the field like that. And that first, especially in that first half, they made a little bit of a run in the second half. But we still see Jordan Love needs some de- now, I'm not going to say needs true development, but he's just not there yet, but that's okay because he's been playing solidly. So that football team in Green Bay is solid, but they have defensively have not been living up to some of that, especially in that Lions game. Next is the Houston Texans. I had the Houston Texans at a C. I'm going to keep them at a C. I love what C.J. Stroud from The Ohio State is doing. He has been very accurate with the football, and this is why, the way he's playing is why I always felt that C.J. Stroud was the better pick for the Panthers than Bryce Young. That's I've I've always felt like that. But he's in the right situation where he's not rushed to win football games. He can develop, he can play the football game the way he needs to play the game. And him and that Dale connection, it's been very good for them. And that running game has been stout, and that defense has been playing a lot better than what we thought especially them being a young football team. And they look very impressive against the Steelers. And a Steelers team that we thought would be better than what they are. So I am going to put the Texans at C, but I really love the things that they are doing in Houston. Shout out to D'Amico Ryans, first year head coach. Next, we're going to go with the Indianapolis Colts. Lost a close game late. I had them at a C. I'm going to keep the Colts at a C, even though I believe Anthony Richardson is... He, he still needs some work defensively. They aren't the same unit, but they've been playing solid football. I like what the Colts are. This team is not a team that we expect to do anything great, but they've been playing hard nosed tough football. And they'll get Jonathan Taylor back possibly this week, which I think is going to off, not offset, is going to bring that team up and value that offense a lot. So I'm going to put the Colts at a C. Next is the Jacksonville Jaguars. I had them in a B. And I'm probably going to keep them at a B. I like what they did against the Falcons. They was able to create some turnovers with their defense. Offensively, Trevor Lawrence has some, he has some so-so plays, but he didn't not play bad. So I'm going to put them at a B. I just wish they could have converted on some of more of the red zone opportunities that they had against the Falcons. But this Jaguars team was a very solid football team. Next is the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, I want... It's an S-tier football team, but they need some receivers in the worst way right now. Outside of Valdez scaling, I like what I've seen a little bit from Rice. I want to see more from Sky Moore. It's just, they did not have the greatest game, and I'll get credit to that Jets defense, which is a very stout defense, and they almost pulled it off and lost that game to the Jets, but it is Mahomes, and he made the plays late, so I'm going to put the Chiefs at an S. Next is the Chargers. I had them at a B, and I'm going to keep them at a B. 
that Khalil Mack exploded against his one of his former teams, the Raiders. Offensively, even Justin Herbert looked great. Even with the fractured finger, came in and he made the plays. Defensively, they made some turnovers. So I, they're starting to head towards the right direction with this Chargers team, which. I thought last year could have been better when they weren't. And I thought this year they could possibly be better than we were last year. Still remains to be seen. Sucks that Mike Williams is out. But I need to see more from Quentin Johnston, who they drafted in the first round. But it's a solid football team. I'm going to put them at a B. Next is the LA Rams. I had them in a C last week. I'm going to keep them there. I do like this offense and what it's doing. Even without a guy like Cooper Cup. Defensively, they had some moments but they've been solid they've been better than what i thought they could be so i'm gonna keep the rams at a c for the moment but i like to some of the things that they can do next is the raiders i had them at a c i'm gonna drop them to a d i'm personally outside of Devonte adams this receiving core has not been obscenely productive defensively i've always said their secondary leaves me more to be desired. They make plays every now and then, but I just want to see more from the secondary. Max Crosby has been that dude. Max Crosby is that dude. It's just they cannot get the running game going consistently, which we thought they could be. Offensive line has not been great, so I am going to put the Raiders at a D. Next is the Miami Dolphins. I'm dropping them into an A. I just thought they would be a lot better performing-wise against the Bills, and the Bills just blew them out the water. The Bills just smoked them, basically. Tua was under pressure. They didn't get a lot of the running game going. Defensively, they couldn't stop a nosebleed with the offense of the Bills doing them things that they did. So they come off a 70-point performance, and they just, I think, not, I'm not going to say lay an egg, nothing like that, but they just didn't come out and play the style of football that I think that they could play. So I'm going to drop them to an A for that performance. Next is the Minnesota Vikings. I'm moving them up, even though they are still a team that's trying to figure everything out. So I'm going to put them at a C tier, move them up. They won that ball game against Carolina. Looks solid, but I still think it's a little bit more to be left desired from them as well. Defensively, they look stout. Harrison Smith was flying all over the football field. I just want to see a little bit more from them offensively and Kirk Cousins. Next is the New England Patriots. I hate to do it, but they are a D football team. The way that Mac Jones has looked, something is not right. And I think last year with Matt Patricia's offensive coordinator, I think that stunted his growth, to be honest. Bill O'Brien, I, I see the things he's trying to do, but Mac Jones is just something that's not there with them offensively. And defensively, they just have not been, I want to say great. They've been solid. It's just I, it's something missing from that defense. Even though the Cowboys offense didn't do too much, and a lot of that was off the Cowboys defense making plays. But offensively for the Patriots, it's just not there. Next is the New Orleans Saints. I'm leaving them at a C. Now, Derek Carr did not play very well. And I believe that this Saints team is a lot better. They played against the Buccaneers. And this Saints team, I just think defensively, they're a little bit there. It's just... I think the injury to Derek Carr kind of hurt them a little bit offensively. I don't think he was 100% healthy, to be honest, and it looked like it. So, Saints are a C team for the moment. Next, the New York Giants had him in a D. I'm going to keep him there. Their offensive line just got pummeled against the Seahawks. They got pummeled. And Daniel Jones, I've always said he's not the guy. And a lot of the plays that were made with that Giants offense Monday night was by his legs. So... This Giants football team offensively, without Saquon Barkley, it, it looks like nothing. It, it looked like nothing. Offensive line struggles doesn't help either, giving up 11 sacks. But Jesus Christ. who that Giants team. And I, they gave them three primetime games in the first four weeks. I don't know why. But the Jets, I'm going to keep the Jets at sea. They, Zach Wilson played a whole lot better football game than we've seen throughout the course of his career. He had a better football game. Then, and that defense is stout. It's just, and they finally got a little bit of the running game going. I just believe that if Zach Wilson made a little bit more of those clutch plays, they pulled off that upset against the Chiefs. They pulled that one out. If they just make one or two more plays from Zach Wilson, 
I think they pull that game out. Next is the Philadelphia Eagles. They had to come back and beat the Commanders, but still one of the more complete teams in football. Jalen Hurts played his butt off. And that defense, I still think the injuries are catching up to him a little bit. But that defense is solid. Offensively, they played a whole lot better. The running game is what's keeping them around. Jalen Hurts is balling out. One of the more complete teams in football, so I'm going to keep them in an S. Next is the Steelers. I had them at an A tier. And after that performance, I'm going to drop them to a B. Kenny Pickett is starting to look like he may not be the guy. Still too early to tell, but they just can't push the ball down the field. And it didn't help that Kenny Pickett got hurt during that ball game, too. And the running game for the Steelers, they need something to get that running game going because it hasn't been all season. I know this firsthand. I had Najee Harris on my fantasy team. So they need to get that running game going and they need to get it going now in order to help with that offense. That defense, they're not playing well against the Texans either. But offensively, they have to run the football. Next is the Seattle Seahawks. I had them at a B. I'm going to move them up to an A, the way that defense looked. That defense looked solid. Offensively, it sucked that Geno was dealing with a bit of a knee problem during the course of that game. But they were able to run a football solidly against the Giants. And the offensive line was dealing with some injuries, and they played a lot better. Defensively is where they laying their hat Monday night with causing those turnovers and getting those 11 sacks and getting out to the quarterback. So I'm going to give the Seahawks at an A right now. Next, the 49ers, who I think could possibly be the best team in the NFL, the most complete football team in the NFL. With the things that they're doing, Christian McCaffrey, Offensive Player of the Year, in my opinion. Offensive Player of the Year right now. Defensively, they are just doing the things that they normally do defensively. Now, I've always thought coming into the year, we'll have to wait and see what Brock Purdy does throughout the first couple of weeks to see where he is. He's, he's looking at the quarterback for their future. He's looking solid. He's I don't think he's one of those quarterbacks that's going to take over and win you ball games. But with all those weapons, and Debo Samuel didn't have a catch, and they still look good. This is a very dangerous football team. Next is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm leaving them to an A tier. This is a very good football team. Baker Mayfield's played a lot better. They are 3-1 and one right now, which nobody expected this football team to be 3-1. I, mean, I knew that defense was still going to be that defense. They still have a lot of the names on that defense. They still have some of those pieces. But offensively, they have looked solid. They've been able to run the football a lot better. Baker Mayfield has looked solid throughout the first couple of weeks. It's a very solid football team right now in Tampa Bay, and I didn't think it would be. The Titans were had at a D tier. I'm going to move them to a C. They are also playing a lot better than what I thought. And especially the way that they looked against the Cincinnati Bengals. A Bengals team who I thought the Titans had, I'm not going to say no business, but I thought the Titans team was not going to be able to do the things that they did to beat the Bengals, and they beat them. So I'm going to move them up to a C. Good coaching job by Mike Vrabel right now. Next is the Commanders. They are 2-2, two and two, and that's who the Bears face next week. I'm going to keep the Commanders to a B, but... I want to see more from Sam Howell. I want to see just a little bit more from Sam Howell and the things that he can do as a quarterback. I like what this offense can potentially be if Sam Howell plays a little bit better. Defensively, that front is very stout, and I really like what they can do on defense. It's just offensively, I want to see a little bit more from Sam Howell. But, hey, these are my rankers for the week. Make sure you guys leave this video a like, comment your thoughts on them down below, sub, all that good stuff. I'm APW Sports signing out. Make sure you guys stay safe. Have a great next excellent day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.